Hello, welcome to Road to Sea. We are live here at the Cycle Show in the NEC in Birmingham, and we are going to take a look at the highlights of the Canyon 2018 range. And to help me do that, I'm joined by Matt from Canyon. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Hello, Dave. And we're going to start off with a brand new bike. It is the Inflight CF SLX. So this is a, a bike built for racing for poor, pure performance. Yep. So it's our first kind of thoroughbred cyclocross race bike that Canyon's ever done. Previously, we had the, uh, the Inflight AL, which was kind of a multi-purpose, versatile uh, cross bike, whereas this is uh, very much purely designed for racing. It's our first carbon cross bike and uh, yeah, ready for the cross season. Okay, so when we ran a story, a first look on Road C, there were a lot of comments around the top tube. Can you just explain what's, what the, the reasoning behind the design there? Okay, so with cross bikes, it's often quite common that you try to create as much space as possible within the main triangle. And to do that, you kind of tend to flatten the top tube. Okay. But an, uh, a kind of result of that is that you end up with very little seat post exposure, which can sort of create a, a very harsh ride. And obviously in cyclocross, if you're going across rough ground, it's quite beneficial if the rider can spend as much time in the saddle, not supporting their body weight by their legs, so they can use their, their muscle power for moving forwards and not for soaking up bumps and stuff. So this kink was born out of the idea of trying to create as much space in the main triangle as possible whilst maintaining enough seat post exposure so you can get enough seat post flex for taking on rough terrain. Okay, and the angle of the, the tube must help for shouldering as well when you're so the down the hurdles and, yep. and so on? So again, I mean, how you shoulder a bike in cyclocross is very much down to like the rider. There's lots of different techniques that go down, but we tend to see people picking up by the down tube, putting the bike on the shoulder and wrapping their arm underneath the down tube to reach through to the handlebar yep. for a really secure hold. And basically what we've done is we've raised the down tube by about one and a half degrees just to create more space between the down tube and the front tire. So you move the down tube away from that just to get yep. your arms through there more easily. Yep. Okay. And um, have you adapted the geometry from the previous inflight for racing? Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's a completely new geometry for cross. Uh, essentially, we didn't try to adapt a road geometry to a cross bike. We looked at actually more at the mountain bike scene and the trends going on there. Okay. So in mountain biking, you see a lot more uh, sort of longer reaches, short stems, wider bars for more, for like extra stability at speed and yep. still with agility uh, for when things get technical. And that's kind of uh, yeah, been played out here with the in-flight. So we've uh, got quite a long reach and quite a long wheel, uh, wheelbase for stability at speed. But actually the cockpits dimensions that we have tend to be about 10 millimeters shorter than uh, on a comparable bike and also a wider cockpit for okay. more leverage. So a similar one-piece handlebar to the, on the A-Road, but adapted to... Uh, so similar, so it's our Ergo cockpit, which we, uh, we launched with the end race last year. Um, and yeah, so adapted for cross, so like okay. I say, wider and shorter. Okay. Um, I see disc brakes on this bike. I presume it's disc brakes only. Disc brakes only, yeah. I mean, okay. modern cross kind of tend to see uh, nothing else really out okay. there. No real weight penalty there, or less weight penalty than yeah. beforehand. Okay. Yeah. And I presume uh, 12 mil throw axles and flat exactly. Mount yeah, the most stable platform really. Okay. Uh, modern standards, yeah. And uh, mud clearance is important for cyclocross. Mm -hmm. And have you looked to maximise mud clearance and yeah. frame? And Absolutely. So uh, we're trying to reduce all the areas where mud could build up on the bike as much as possible, which is quite apparent down here at the uh, at the bottom bracket area. Okay. So yeah, just uh, obviously the less the fewer times that you have to change a bike during the race, the quicker you'll be, yeah. and that's beneficial to whether whether you're a higher level racer and you have a whole full, whole pit crew and you have multiple bikes, or if you're just an amateur and you want to get through the hour without having to spray off your bike. Okay. Yeah. Um, I see this bike got a SRAM rival one by yep. group set. There's a, a chain guard. Could you fit a front mech and a double chain set? So this, uh, these frame sets can fit anything from um, electronic drive chains. To if you want to run a two by up there, this is the base model in the range, the 8.0 Pro Race, which comes with the SRAM one by with a rival uh, mech. We also offer an Ultegra two by option. It's the 9.0 for people who still want to run two by. Okay. Um, so yeah, anything will fit on. But yeah, the, the chain catcher up here, obviously with the, the X-Sync chain rings, it's still quite secure, but that offers an extra level of security for when taking okay. on uh, really yeah. rough courses. Yeah, it's a smart looking bike. So there's the new in-flight CF SLX. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below and um, let's move on to another bike. So another brand new bike for Canyon 2018 is a new Enduro Race uh, women's specific bike. You've had women's bikes in the range before, but this is a new approach to offering a bike for women. Exactly. So essentially we see more and more women are riding bikes and we had sort of unisex models in the past and uh, bikes with adapted cockpits and contact points for women, but now you know, we wanted to create a full range of women's bikes with more choice for female riders to reflect the kind of trends that we're seeing with more women riding bikes. So this is the Endrace CFSL. We've also got the, uh, 
Endrace AL, so the aluminium version of this, and also an Ultimate CFS LX, a kind of more a racier version. Okay. Yeah. And how have you adapted the geometry on these bikes? Have, they, have you changed them from the... So essentially the way road, ge road geometries work at Canyon is we have our sport geometry, our sport pro geometry, and a pro geometry. Sort of get from sport to pro, going from more endurance to more aggressive. Um, when it came to women's bikes, it wasn't our, our kind of concept wasn't to create a whole new geometry for women, but to create geometries that allow women to achieve the positions of the sport geometry or sport pro geometry okay. more naturally. Okay, and to help do that, you've got a wider size range, and I think you've got smaller wheels on the two smaller sizes. So sizing was a big issue. So if you look at um, how we normally design a bike, is we will design a geometry around a size medium frame and then spread that out to the large sizes okay. and the smaller sizes. Uh, with the women's range, obviously taking the average women's rider would, and they would take an excess frame um, and offering sort of enough choice either side of that excess, uh, we had to create smaller sizes. So we go down to a 3XS for the first time ever. And uh, so we have 3XS to medium, so that's five different sizes. Um, yeah, you mentioned wheel size there. Um, so in the past, with the small sizes of frame, trying to fit 700C wheels into, onto those frames, the geometry figures that you have to get uh, to, to make that work kind of doesn't really okay. add up. So you end up with very sort of slack head angles, very slow handling. We wanted to create the same handling across the entire range, which meant that we have this new solution, which is 650B wheels on 3XS and 2XS sizes. Okay. And aside from the geometry changes, have you mm. adapted the frame in terms of the carbon layout and, and the yep. tuner stiffness? For so exactly, so if we say women riders are, are typically lighter than male riders, you can actually create a lighter frame. Um, so we've adapted the tube profile, so it's a lot, uh, lot more slender than the, uh, the unisex models, uh, which if we take the ultimate CFS Lex for an example, the women's version is about 6.5% lighter than the men's version. Oh, wow. It's the lightest disc platform okay. that we currently produce. Yeah. And you mentioned disc brakes. This one got disc brakes. Is it disc brakes only on these new Disc bikes? brakes only. No I mean, brakes. for more control in the real world where we all ride. And uh, we've only received positive feedback so far. Okay. Yeah. And there's okay. no real weight penalty as well, especially if you combine it with a light, lighter frame. So. Okay. And to clarify, you've got Endurace and uh, Ultimate. So Endra uh, Endrace AL, the aluminium version, okay. starts there. We've got uh, two models there. This is the Endrace CFSL, we've got six models there, and the Ultimate CFS Lex, we're still awaiting the launch of the 2018 models, and there'll be another uh, five or so models okay. coming in that okay. range. Yeah. And a uh, plate of color options, including this purple, which looks Including very, this purple, which is uh, new snazzy. for 2018. Okay. It is quite snazzy, yeah. Okay. So we go, brand new women's bikes there for you. Let's move on to something different. Yep. So another brand new bike from Canyon for 2018 is the all new Road Light CF. Mm -hmm. A flat bar bike with road bike performance. Exactly. Um, so we launched the first launched the road light range of fitness bikes back in 2014, and they've been really successful for people for kind of riders who want a fast bike but don't want a, the full commitment of a drop bar setup. Okay. And in 2018, we've expanded that with this uh, carbon fiber model that we see here. So essentially, it's uh, even more focus on that performance aspect with a lighter frame and higher spec components, and some cool features like, for example, this uh, integrated cockpit up here. We like integration at Canyon, and this is a kind of looks like Batman, it's great. So is it an all new frame then? It been it's an all, you, all new frame, new riding. geometry, fitness geometry. Okay. Um, similar to the in-flight actually, we sort of see a slightly longer reach and slightly shorter cockpit for okay. more agile handling. Okay. And, uh, yeah. so the geometry has to be adjusted for the For the, the flat bar concept. Flat so bar, it's, yeah. it's, not just a, it's not just a road bike frame with flat bars, okay. it's more specific. Okay. And uh, one by drivetrain only? No, uh, no not, not one by, well, this, is, this, is, this model comes with one by, but there's also two by two and by. Uh, compact 5034 uh, chain sets across the range. Okay. Yeah. And um, disc brakes only? Again. Yeah, extra control. Um, yeah, with 12 millimeter through axles, flat mount standards. Okay. And Stealth bomber. So the road light's been around for a few years now. Has yeah. it been a, a popular model for you? Very popular. Like I say, for the kind of person who, uh, who t turns up and doesn't really know wants the fast, uh, fast bike, but is kind of put off by the road scene, for example. Okay. And uh, yeah, super versatile, oh, very comfortable. Okay. And it's quick. quick yeah. What more yeah. do you want then? So yeah. it reduces the barrier to cycling. People put off by exactly. the drop bars and exactly. the performance aspect of cycling. This and even like committed, road, committed roadies who ride these things, you know, we're very surprised by actually how quick it is. And, you know, we have our group rides that leave from Corblentz and some people turn up on these and they, you know, they keep up absolutely fine. Okay. And um, so carbon model here is mm. an aluminium version as well? There is an aluminium. We have another platform, the ALSL, which shares many of the features, again, with the kind of upgraded, upgraded uh, 12 millimeter through axles and flat man brakes okay. and the cleaner optic. And okay. Yeah. I noticed you've got the uh, the nifty seat post from the road bike. The nifty seat one. post. Yep. 
again with the integrated seat clamp, so we're clamping the, the seat post further down, which increases the effective bending length. And yeah, with a VCLS 2.0 seat post, and you get um, a lot of flex from that, a lot of movement. Oh, you can see it moving, can't you? Yeah. Really feel that out on the road. Okay, yeah. So yeah, focus on ergonomics and comfort, but also speed. Yeah, it certainly looks a fast bike with yeah. the deep section wheels on this yeah. one and the stealth yeah. black paint job. Um, so there we go, the brand new road light from Canyon there. A very interesting new bike. What do you think of flat bars on road bikes? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And the last bike from the Canyon range we want to show you is probably the most interesting looking bike here at the Cycle Show today. It's, um, well, Matt, I'll let you tell us about it. So it's the Ultimate CFS Alex Kraftwerk. And uh, we launched this at the Tour de France. And essentially, we Tour de France started in Germany this year. We are a German company. Dusseldorf, where it started, is within 100 miles of Koblenz, our headquarters. And we're looking for a special way to kind of commemorate that. Uh, and Kraftwerk are obviously Dusseldorf's most famous sons, so to speak. And they're also very connected with cycling. And we reached out to them with a, the idea of doing a special edition bike, and they're really keen. And the design you see here is inspired by their live shows. It's a Ralph Hutter, who's the founder of Kraftwerk. He came up with the original design, and then we, we essentially applied it to the bike. Okay. So they, they were involved in the design process with it? Yeah, they were. They signed yeah. it off and... Yeah, yeah very involved. Okay. Very so on, involved. underneath this, uh, this finish, it's a standard um, Ultimate? Ultimate CFS Selects, exactly. Okay. Yep, with a uh, full SRAM group set with ETAP and Zip 303 wheels. And the special part about it is this, uh, this artwork, obviously, which is uh, hand applied by our graphics guy, a man called Andreas. Okay. And it takes him about seven hours to do, to do each frame. Wow, seven and each hours. strip is individually laid. Okay. Uh, and it's reflective as well, and it's really it does look the part. Neat. And how many of these bikes have you created then? So we, we sold 21 of them, okay. and they went online at the, uh, the start of the Tour de France, and they okay. were sold out within so you can't two days. Buy a bike then. And this bike sold here has soon been sold, is it? Is it? Or is uh, it it's to take to shows, to, okay. to show, one show the people one bike, okay. one bike to rule them all. So we produced obviously four more as well for the, okay. for the four band members. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they've each got a bike in them. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. But 21 were put on sale to the public, and they have gone. So there we go, a very special bike here from Canyon at the Cycle Show. And if you come to the Cycle Show this weekend, you can see the bike here, and I recommend you take a closer look at it. It is a stunning bike. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks to Matt for thank you, your help here. And thanks to Canyon for letting us film their bikes. And um, well, thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more of the latest videos from Ray CC. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.